uh, people like my mother out there that are listening are saying, okay, you quote a bunch of authorities over here that line up and say, we vote for Yam to be this. We have another group of authorities over here that line up and say, Yam is this. I really want to know what the Bible says. How are we going to figure this out? Well, I would suggest that uh, your mother take a statistical count and say, look, I don't know about Luther, Calvin, Many of them may be in heaven and change their minds. So I'm not sure. But I know the Bible, and I trust the Bible. And uh, the evidence you're trying to tell me, I at least get this one, that the fourth day is when God made days. We're, we're not going to back down from that. Everyone's going to say that. Uh, uh, secondly, they're going to say that there was no evening and morning on the seventh day. And that one sort of leaves that open especially the Psalm 95, especially with Hebrews 4, arguing that that rest, he can't be talking about the rest in the land of, of uh, Joshua is conquering the land, because if that had been, why would he talk about another day of rest, argues the, the writer of Hebrews. So it seems to me it's four to three, four to three at best, four saying that we just can't say what the length of that time is, but it doesn't seem to be limited to 24 hours until God put his stamp on creation and said, let there be, and there was, for the first time. For the very first time. I can't get that across let, enough to the biblical uh, let audience there be light. that it was the first time that God made a day. Let there be light. 